Hi everybody, so today I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little voiceover tutorial uh, painting I did earlier today. I have a lot of people ask what kind of starting colors should they use when they're first starting out. I wanted to do a tutorial that would show you how to do it uh, just simply using black and white and clear. Uh, in this one I use the Rust-Oleum black, the Rust-Oleum white, the Walmart black, Walmart white, and then the Krylon clear. Uh, and I'm going to show you just some really cool different things you can do with just basically two different colors. Uh, right here you can see what we've done is we've started already by putting down uh, some different textures for our pyramids as well as two different planets. And I'm using the Walmart black for my shading, whereas I'm using the Rust-Oleum black for most of the painting. Right here, after we put in our stencils, we just fill in the gaps. Uh, this part right here, I've actually probably should have waited a little bit until after I took the stencils off to do it, so I'm gonna have to redo it again. Now that uh, we've put the stars in, we remove the stencils and just add some more white, add some highlights here and there. And then we remove our paper for where our pyramids are gonna be. And then just take a straight edge to put in your shadows for your pyramids. Now I'm gonna do some water. Uh, there's a couple of different techniques on here. I'm gonna start off by doing one, but I'm, it's gonna, you're gonna see right here. This is the problem with working in the heat is it dries too quickly and it does that. So what I tend to do is I just go over it with some clear coat and then rub it out with my fingers to give it that nice water texture. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put in some mountains on the uh, side, just in the foreground here. There's tons and tons of tutorials you can see online on how to do that. Uh, I'll probably do one in the future here and I'll show uh, detailed on how to do all these different steps. Now that we've got those mountains in, we're gonna go back over it with our palette knife to kind of just etch out some of the highlights on it, give it some depth, give it some rockiness. Now I'm gonna hand paint in some trees. I just take a scrap piece of paper, spray paint some black onto it, grab my paintbrush, uh, some people use all sorts of different things to do a piece of folded piece of cardboard works really well. Uh, I prefer using a brush for these ones. I'm just kind of go in and paint in the tree branches. I really like how this tree ended up turning out. Now a lot of people will go afterwards and use a sponge and then put in leaves and foliage and all that stuff. I happen to really like the look of dead trees, especially in this type of monochromatic painting. So I'm not putting any leaves on them, I'm going to leave them as they are. Now next I'm just painting in some little birds. I figured the uh, painting could really use something like that. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my palette knife and I'm just kind of etching out some uh, highlights on the trees. And give it kind of a more of a 3D, more realistic look. Since the trees are pretty much the foreground image, I wanted them to just have a little bit more depth to them. If 
you have any questions, if you uh, have any feedback or anything, feel free to go down into the comment section, leave your feedback for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see me do in the future. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that uh, like button, the thumbs up, and the subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell, and that's going to give you notifications to let you know when I've uploaded. I upload a new painting every week, so be on the lookout for new stuff. And then I'm just putting a la couple layers of clear coat on it. And then that's the finished product right there. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share. And as always, thanks for watching.